So this one I wrote right before the uh, hoping Obama would win, and I knew it was a very historic moment, and so it inspired me. And I took um, part of the speech from speeches from Obama. So there's three people in this story. There's a African slave that is in the Deep South pre-Civil War. There's Obama's line, and there's Martin Luther King Jr.'s line. And it's from the rail. I has lived a hard life. Well, I reckon what else could I be living? Growing up under the masses' hand and whip makes you go numb if you ain't already. America, now is not the time for small plans. I have a dream. I got the scars, Lord, yeah. Work in those fields, the heat in the bright summer sun, the children hanging on my hip and dragging on my teeth. Got my man's hands on me at night, sometimes for his business, sometimes for his whip. Oh, it's rough. Lordy all that, lordy all that. I'm always sleeping a dreamless sleep. Oh, shucks, no, don't miss my man now. Want mine anyway, but I wasn't missing my boys. I was never the likeliest of candidates. I dreamed that one day on the red hills of Georgia, I didn't tell anybody I was a run. I didn't want them to get the whip, you know, or was for that matter. I bet you they did, though. Ain't no reason. I can't figure no reason for much anything them white folks do. Lordy, lordy. Like when my master came on to me one night, he at first had my man beat. I was just guessing because all I was hearing is the screams while the master do his thing with me. We are not enemies but friends. The sons of former slaves and the sons of former slave owners. When he finished up with his business with my tie bones, he plain spit in my face. I guess because I ain't much to look at, but I is a good worker. When he found out I was thinking I was carrying his chillin', his men, they'd have dragged me out of the bed in the middle of the night. Lord, yeah. Drug me clear the swamp. Leave me for dead right near the swamp. I didn't know when I staggered back, but I do know I won't fat no more. That was when I thought it. I decided there won't be no justice. We meet at one of those defining moments. We will be able to sit down together. No reason for nothing. So I was asking, why not? I was as good dead anyway, so I was out in the far field, almost a day's walk from the master's house. Yep, see, I didn't plan it none. The boss hand, he was feeling polar that day and had to lay down in the tall grass. The clouds, they helped make me invisible, looking like I'm one of them cotton weaver bales. So I was a crouch down low, see, and gave that look back and forth down the road. You were knowing that look. They said this day would never come. At the table of brotherhood, you know the one. I was a wild thing. Weezy was picking next to me and she said, no, y'all better not do it. But I don't answer. I see it's clear and all I think is run and run I do's. I ain't knowing where I'm going. We will respond with that timeless creed that sums up the spirit of a people. With this fate, we will be able to hoo out of the mountain of despair. Some folks say the rail, it sets you free. But I don't see no freedom. No Lord, and no free land in sight. All I hear is the howl of them dogs. I ain't knowing where I's going. I just hear them the dogs a howling. They're getting closer. Yes, we can. And so let freedom ring.